Yesterday, many of our national newspapers covered an open letter to the Prime Minister from uh, Adam Marshall, who's the Director General of the British Chambers of Commerce, uh, our umbrella body, and Francis O'Grady from the Trade Union Congress. Uh, the letter was regarding the status of EU migrant workers and their role in the UK economy. Um, now, on the face of it, a uh, collaboration between the TUC and the BCC is fairly unlikely, but I think that collaboration just underscores the importance of the issue at hand. In that letter, uh, the BCC and TUC were calling for the Prime Minister to make uh, immediate and much needed commitment to the status of EU migrant workers in the UK economy and to do that up front of the Brexit negotiations. Um, such a move would be bold, but it's morally it's the right thing to do for those important workers and their families. And secondly, it will be a much needed Philip for the economy at a time of uncertainty. And I can be confident in backing that letter because talking to Doncaster businesses and Doncaster chamber members, we hear that sentiment loudly and clearly. So in our quarterly economic survey, when we've been asking members what they prioritise when it comes to the Brexit negotiations, it's all around the labour market and ensuring that supply of labour, both skilled, but all importantly for Doncaster, unskilled too. And then anecdotally talking to Doncaster businesses, unfortunately we are hearing stories of EU migrant workers just not being here anymore and that's creating uncertainty and challenge for Doncaster businesses. So the call for action this week is to the Prime Minister to react to the sentiments and wishes of Chamber members in Doncaster but throughout the UK to confirm the status of those EU migrant workers, give them an early Christmas present, but equally give the economy one too.